The 22nd edition of the Football World Cup is here and odd begins Sunday in Qatar and 32 teams will be vying for that prize. Although only 8 teams have won the World Cup uh, and 7 of them are playing, Italy has not qualified and there are many teams who will want to win the World Cup for the first time like uh, teams like uh, Belgium and Netherlands. Talking about favourites, uh, Brazil, Argentina, Germany always are the usual names. Uh, this time again, like last time for the Euros that I did, I'll be uh, talking to my friends, uh, some football fans and uh, they have their own views. So uh, let's check out. Uh, first, we'll meet them, uh, we'll know who they are and uh, we'll take the predictions uh, for the Golden Ball, Golden Boot, the, the match that they're most excited for and finally the champions. Hi guys, we're just a day away from the FIFA World Cup 2022 the biggest sporting event in the world. My name is Sheldon and I'm a diehard Chelsea Football Club and Brazil fan. Hello everyone, uh, I'm an Arsenal supporter and for this World Cup, I'm supporting Brazil. Hello guys, this is Shashank and I am a Manchester United fan. My name is Suhan Gupta and I'm a Chelsea supporter. In this World Cup, I'm rooting for Germany. Hey guys, uh, my name is Karthik and I've been playing football for the past 15 years now. My favourite position is left wing or striker or right wing and my favourite player is Cristiano Ronaldo. Hello, I'm a Barcelona fan and I'll be supporting Argentina this time. I'm a die-hard Messi fan. Hey, this is Neil. The country that I support is Argentina. Hi everyone, my name is Savio and welcome to my channel Esporte Savi. Regarding the game, I fell in love with the game with the one and only man uh, who showed the world uh, how to bend it. Yes, uh, David Beckham and uh, you must have guessed the team. Manchester United. When it comes to playing, I was an out and out striker, uh, an incredibly talented uh, forward, but uh, unfortunately, my players, my coaches, and no one saw it, and I was always out of the team. I'm most excited about is Portugal versus Uruguay. I'm most excited about Group E match Spain versus Germany. Those are the two European heavyweights, two of the last uh, three World Cup winners. So, Definitely, it will be a spicy affair. The match that I'm most excited for in the group series would be England versus USA. I think uh, England is very well prepared for the World Cup and USA has a very good young squad. The most exciting group stage fixture would probably be Spain versus Germany. Both teams have really balanced squads with uh, young talent as well as experienced players. So it will be great to see how that pans out. The most exciting match in this year's World Cup for me would be Portugal vs Uruguay. Both teams have quality players in their squads. Portugal for Cristiano Ronaldo probably being the last World Cup, they are going to give their everything and try and win it for him this year. Uruguay again, probably the most disciplined side out of all the sides in this World Cup I would say. The group game I'm most looking forward to is obviously Spain versus Germany. Dono team play good football, good expansive football, good passing game, and it's going to be a good match. I'm looking forward to all the matches of Group C, and it'll be great if we have an Argentina versus Germany knockout match. The most exciting match for me is not about footballing talent, it is about all, all about international politics. So yes, uh, USA and Iran will be one of the most mouth-watering clashes of this uh, World Cup. As such, no group of death, nahi hai, but Spain, Costa Rica, Germany and Japan ke group E is looking like the most toughest group in, in the World Cup. We can definitely say group E is really tough. It's For me, it's a group of death because Germany and Spain, those are two European heavyweights. Both are playing really well recently. And Japan and Costa Rica, those are very two good sides. Group of death is group H. Group H with Portugal, Uruguay, Ghana and South Korea. South Korea are going to heavily rely on Hyung Ming Son. Ghana with uh, the Africans always possess a physical threat which is a dif which is very difficult for the other teams to match. You know? Uruguay again like I mentioned they are probably the most disciplined side in the World Cup. Portugal with Cristiano Ronaldo and all other quality players around him. Group of death for me would be uh, Group E where um, I think Germany and Spain are in the same group and I think two strong teams in the same group. Uh, it will be fun to watch. With teams like Serbia, Cameroon and Switzerland in the group, uh, Brazil will want to watch out for that banana skin. Yes, so Group G is kind of a group of death for me. 
गोल्डन ग्रुप विल बी बिटवीन लायनल मेसी एंड हैरी केन आई थिंक दोनों का ग्रुप काफ़ी आसान है एक के पास सऊदी अरेबिया एक के पास ईरान है तो उसी हिसाब से जानो जिस ग्रुप में ज़्यादा आसान टीम्स हैं उनके ज़्यादा गोल हो सकते हैं द गोल्डन बूट वुड गो टू आई दम एस सी और बैनजमा आई थिंक नेमार विल रूल दिस वर्ल्ड कप हिज फॉर्म फॉर पी एस सी इज़ वेरी गुड एंड आई थिंक ब्राज़ील कैन गो ऑल द वे टिल फाइनल सो नेमार कैन विन गोल्डन बूट दिस टाइम एंड आई गेस दिस इज कॉन बी अर्जेंटीनाज वर्ल्ड कप एंड डेफिनेटली मेस इज कॉन बी द मैन टू वॉच आउट फॉर Golden Boot or Golden Ball this year would be Lionel Messi because I think he has been tremendous in the past season. Plus, if you really uh, see how well he is progressing over the past few days, I think he would be the one contender I would like to list for Golden Boot or Golden Ball. The player to watch out for in this year's FIFA World Cup for me would be Gabriel Jesus. His move from Manchester City to Arsenal has helped him discover his old form, and he'll have a major say if Brazil are going to win this World Cup this year. With neither of Belgium and Netherlands ever winning the World Cup, it is important that one of the main uh, players uh, stand up, and uh, it could be either be De Bruyne or uh, De Jong for for one of the teams. So yes, for Golden Ball, I would uh, go with uh, De Bruyne or De Jong. One player to watch out for would be Jamal Musiala. He is one of the best young talents in the world, and he has goal scoring ability, chance creation, dribbling, you name it. And he'll be hoping to have a good World Cup. Brazil will uh, win this World Cup. They haven't uh, won the World Cup for past 20 years. Uh, Europe's reign over the World Cup will end in Qatar. That's what I think because Qatar's conditions are more suitable to South American country. Brazil, uh, they have very good attacking unit in the form of Neymar, Richarlison, Gabriel Jesus, uh, Vinicius Junior, and they also have the very strong defensive unit. So I think Brazil will uh, win. this world cup my personal favorites for the competition would be brazil they have a star squad with great chemistry up front and with a strong defense line anything short of a final would be disappointing for them so according to me argentina are going to win the world cup and um, messi is going to end all the debates once and for all messi is going to win this world cup for argentina or rather argentina is going to win the world cup for messi the champions of the world would be Brazil for me the most complete squad incredible squad that if you look at the players that are going to be on the bench they are all very skillful and talented even if one player is injured or you know there's some match fatigue for the other players he's going to be easily replaced by another talented and skillful player incredible squad that and i hope they win it this year champions it's going to be argentina he for me um france or argentina France because they have a great depth uh, in their squad. Uh, they have an amazing squad. Argentina because I think if you see the past few days, uh, there are some videos of their training on YouTube as well. And uh, if you go out and check those videos, they have had a tremendous training regime and they are doing exceptionally well in training. No team is working hard as they are right now. So I think Argentina would be a strong team. Whether it's supporting a team or splitting a bill, I always go Dutch. and a team that has uh, been to three finals and not won uh, yes so it's time that uh, that dutch football team finally lifts the world cup also 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 just a side note fun thank you so much take care cheers may the best team win it's gonna be a messy world cup